is time. Time is a precious gift from God. Absolutely, that is very true. Now, Juliana, what is a good example from the Old Testament about using time wisely? In the Old Testament, the prophet of God used his time well in building the houses for the Lord, both physically and spiritually. And to him, to the Lord, there is no point in building a physical house if he has no home in the heart. Absolutely. Now, Stephen, what is a good example of using time wisely from the New Testament? St. Mark and his ministry went to many different countries, preaching the faith as every moment was precious to him. What is the definition of living in peace? Living in peace is not where your life is without problems or where you do not need to face any obstacles in life. Although to live in peace, you must realize that with God, you will have peace in life. We all must understand that God is the Pantocrator and that he is the creator of all living things. We can receive that peace in the sacrament of the Eucharist. When God is in us, we feel no hardships or troubles. Another, th another thing we need to understand is that we are living in peace. We need to believe that God is more powerful than any challenge, and that if we face any challenges, we need to pray to God so that he can help us overcome that obstacle. When we have a problem at home, we go to church and pray to God so that he may help us. God is able to deliver us from every tribulation we face, and he is stronger than all the powers of evil. Finally, brethren, farewell, become complete, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. 2 Corinthians 13.11Abuna's here. Why is he not starting the liturgy? I told you we are not supposed to come this early. Look around. There's nobody else. Everyone else is smarter and they're sleeping longer and they don't have to stay for the entire boring liturgy. I just really wonder what Abuna is doing this entire time. What can he be doing and how can he not get bored? There's absolutely nothing going on here and there's truly nothing but just standing here in the boring liturgy. Do you want to go behind the curtains and see what he's doing? Maybe Satan is pulling us away from God. Maybe we should fight this boredom. I feel so too. We should not let Satan waste the blessing of the liturgy and make us feel empty and get nothing out of the liturgy. Next week, I promise it will be different. Special report coming in from St. Mary Coptic Orthodox Church, Sacramento, California, about how can we live in peace? Let's ask middle school about what they think. What do you think? How can we live in peace? By being peacemakers, as Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Matthew 5, 9. Thank you. What do you think? How can we live in peace? By departing from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. Thank you. What do you think? How can we live in peace? By having peace with our service, other and with God. Thank you. And when he stepped out of the boat, he met a man living in the tombs, filled with unclean spirits. No one could bind him or tame him. He was called Legion because of many demons that possessed him. But when the man saw Jesus coming, he recognized him and ran to him, saying, What, what have I to do with you, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I implore to you, my God, that you will not torment me. The demons begged Jesus to not send them out of the country, and when they begged him to send them into the herd. Send us to the swine, that, that we may enter them. So Jesus gave them permission to possess the swine. The spirits left the man and entered the swine, possessing nearly 2,000. Immediately the herd ran down a steep cliff in the mountains and fell into the sea and drowned.